Begin with the sampling distribution assuming that the null hypothesis or status quo is true. The researcher establishes a rejection region by choosing a significance level, alpha, which is shown in red to represent the probability of making a type 1 error. Note that several common choices of alpha and their corresponding z values are shown. A type 1 error occurs when one rejects the null hypothesis when in fact it is true. Said another way, when the test statistic computed from a random sample is too extreme, then we reject H0. The threshold, dividing what is quote-unquote too extreme from what is acceptable, is given by the value z sub alpha. As an example, consider an upper-tailed test in which the research or alternative hypothesis states that the population parameter is greater than the null hypothesized value. There are many possibilities for the location of this blue curve. Although it is not always computed in practice, beta, shown in green, is the probability of a type 2 error. This error occurs when one fails to reject H0 when in fact it is false. This occurs when the test statistic is not extreme, assuming H0 is true. One simple way to decrease these possible errors is to increase the sample size n. Doing so tightens the sampling distributions by multiplying its standard deviation by a factor of 1 over the square root of n. The obvious goal here is to avoid both errors by rejecting H0 when it is false or failing to reject H0 when it is true.